in my review of these, I had showed you the articulation and things more in detail. What I will show you right now is the transformation, but I'll do it fairly quickly, so just follow along. We'll start by moving the beast aside and grabbing the bird. The bird, which can be used in a little the head. Be careful of these white pieces, they can be rotated, however, you can also use that if you want to rotate it around and do something like that. But you're then going to grab right here in the bottom, take it off. Sorry, this section just fell off really quick. So you're going to remove this where the 2x2 the two two tile is. So it was here, just take it off, set it aside. Okay. Now what we'll do is we're going to rotate these wings and fold them down. Okay, this will also be the legs. Turn them around so where you can see the underside of the bird right here and the engines. You then grab the engines and you're going to rotate them around. And then rotate the leg, rotate the foot. Okay, and this is the bottom section. Set this aside. Grabbing the beast now. You're going to start by grabbing this ammo clip, which is just right in here. And it should come out fairly easy. We'll set that aside as well. Okay. Now for one of my favorite parts about the all transformation is the jaw. What you're going to do is you're going to, need to open the jaw just a bit. And then it should rotate forward everything but the top teeth. And it should essentially bite around the front. That's kind of what that should look like. This should also make sure that there is enough room that this can fold straight down. It should fit perfectly into this area. But we're going to leave it up for right now. Grabbing the arms, you will then rotate these forward. And then we're going to rotate the arms, bring the what will be the fingers down, and then you're going to open up this section. Just like that. Same on the opposite side. Just like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to turn it around. I'm just going to bring these shoulders a little bit forward just so you can see clearly. So these fins, I like to grab just underneath where this angle section is and pinch here, and I fold those up. You're going to fold them up all the way, and you're going to rotate them forward. There should be enough clearance here if you've done this right for it to rotate forward. Not gonna rotate it forward completely, but just get it mostly way there. So you can fold this up, and then this should rotate around. Turn, turn your attention to the back side. We then lift up the head, and then we're gonna swing these down. And grab the claw, bring it up. Okay. After which you're gonna grab via this joint and it will actually come up here. Same on the opposite side, okay? So straighten out the leg, essentially. Raise the claw up now, and then just rotate it up this way. Okay, now it's time to combine. In order to combine, I first wanna show you where things should go. So we have this two by two white plate, as well as these studs right here. That is what will secure the connection because not only will we have it on this axis, but also on these axes. Then this hole in the area will be where the mouth of the beast goes. So, grabbing the beast, I'm just going to lift the arms out of the way. The 2x2 two two white um, plate should connect to this 2x2, two two, um, to the 2x4 two plate right there. Also, what I'll do is, I think it would be best if we ratcheted this up. I'm gonna bring this down as well, but yeah, you shouldn't ratchet it up. So this two by four plate right here will attach to this two by two plate. Okay. I'll just bring the arms down now so that you can kind of see more what's happening. Okay, so this stud will connect to the underside of the jaw as it folds down. You're going to click. Okay, 
there we go, just like that. There you go, now this top section is completely secure. Grab these wings, fold them forward, and the wing tips, which will fold down, covering the eyes of the beast. So you can tell. Okay, kind of straighten some things out. Turn attention to the back for just a moment. The tail, I just rotate and collapse down. Now, getting these legs out of the way for just a second, we have these gold studs here. They will actually go in the center of this piece. So I like to, on the back, fold this down. And then seeing that stud, attach it like that. And then my goal is always, wherever this corner is, is to have this gray um, section to fold down like that. Then you just grab the claws, fold them down. Repeat the process on the other side. So gold stud goes in the center of this piece. If I can get it, there we go. All right, and then fold everything down. So the feet are curled over. We're then gonna just kind of straighten this guy out. You then have these small, um, I guess, claws right here. You can keep them up. I like to fold them down, and they touch on top of the. Sorry. And then they kind of touch on top of this. It kind of gives a little bit of eye candy when you look at it. You know, just like a little bit of red. Okay, and that's what we have so far. And now grab the ammunition clip, as well as this. And you can do it in either direction. Um, as far as assembling goes, you can assemble it like this, or like this, for whatever direction you want the gun to be pointed off. I like to be on his left side. So you grab the, the studs right here, and underneath where the two-way free plate is, and you put it like that. And then you just kind of straighten some things out. So hopefully that made sense. Essentially you're just attaching like this, or the other way. So once that is attached, rotate this, flip it up, and again you can, as I mentioned before, rotate these around if you want to get a different look. And then on the back side of the robot, you can't do it on either side, but um, on the base, right right here, this one, one by six, is where I put this stud. And the other one will follow, and it should be just behind these one by twos that are red. Just like that. If I put it on, there we go. And I then fold it forward. Just like that. So there is Colossus in his robot mode, his combined robot mode. Thank you for watching this build video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, let me know what your thoughts are and I hope that you guys have fun while building it.